Well, the shape that was found in the ground was actually remarkably well defined. Basically, the weight of the sand simply squashed the skin of the hull of the ship uh, into a thin layer, and the ribs of the ship, for example, the mysterious process of the sand moving in and replacing the wood, meant that those were preserved. So what they dug out was actually a remarkably good representation of the shape. We had various drawings from 1939, 1975, and we've had um, an investigation by the people at Southampton um, which came up with a 3D representation and they were going to go with a drawing that they produced uh, which ultimately would have been based on the measurements from the 1939 survey. The keel is quite a tricky one because we do have conflicting evidence from uh, the various work done by the archaeologists. Um, we will probably end up going with the recommendations from the 1970s work done by the uh, British Museum, um, although we can't be sure. Uh, from the period, you can either have plank keels or end-on keels. This looks a bit more like a plank keel.